Hello, hello, what's up everybody? My name is Mike Brown, aka Review King MB, and this is going to be a fairly quick review, which is why I'm doing audio only for the movie Long Shot. Long Shot is a 2019 film that was directed by Jonathan Levine. It stars Seth Rogen and Charlize Theron and the plot. The plot is Seth Rogen plays Fred, who quits his job. He's a journalist, but he doesn't like the direction that his company is going with printing his story. So he quits, and he runs into an old childhood friend, Charlize Theron, who plays Charlotte Field. She is running for the president, and so she also needs somebody to help write her speeches, and I guess that's where Seth Rogen comes in. They reconnect, and over the course of the movie... They develop feelings for each other. It becomes a romantic comedy of sorts. Now, what I think of this movie, Long Shot, is it was good. It was good. It was fine. But I wasn't overly enthusiastic, I guess, leaving it. It wasn't one of Seth Rogen's best comedic films. And I'm a huge fan of Seth Rogen. I love a lot of his earlier comedies where he is raunchy he is over the top and he is self-deprecating and he's all of that here as well there are a lot of raunchy jokes there are a lot of jokes of him making fun of himself him saying that he's not good looking enough to date somebody like Charlize Theron which when you think about most of the movies that Seth Rogen has been in he almost always has a hot girlfriend Charlize Theron Katherine Heigl Amber Heard I'm probably missing a few others. But still, hey, when you look at his real-life wife, I guess it's not the biggest thing to suspend your disbelief for. But still, you get the point, right? If I was Rogan, if I was producing these movies, writing these movies, I would probably do the same as well. I do like that he at least makes fun of the idea of him and someone like Charlize Theron. Charlize Theron, I liked a lot. In this movie, she's your your strong female character who's trying to become the first female president, and she's doing everything that she can to get there. So you can respect that. But I, I like more so the moments when she wanted to kick back on her time off. So O'Shea Jackson Jr., who's Ice Cube's son, I didn't know what to expect from him because I feel like I, at least I thought he would just be that same. Ice Cube character that he played in Straight Outta Compton. But honestly, he was very comical here. He's the best friend that says inappropriate things, but he's also trying to get Seth Rogen back on the right track and, and motivate him. And there's this one scene in particular where the two of them go back and forth, and Seth Rogen realizes a lot about his best friend that he did not know about. That scene was uh, very entertaining, got a lot of laughs there. Other cast members, Randall Park, who is in anything... That's a comedy, I swear. Lisa Kudrow has one scene where she's her character from Friends. She is. The, the, there's no... Like, in real life, that just must be who she is. Overall, this movie did get me in the feels a couple times. And there's something about relationship movies. Maybe specifically around this time in my life that I, I, I can get easily got. So... Yes, is it a movie that I'm going to say go run out to? Is it a movie that you have to go see in theaters? Not really, but I am glad that I saw it the way that I did. I'm going to give it a, a good date movie. So guys, let me know in the comments below if you have any interest in seeing Long Shot. Looking at the box office, it doesn't seem like a lot of people did go out to see it. So I'm curious, or did you just end up going to see Avengers Endgame like I did? <laughs> Thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. Later! Later.